three, two. Good evening. This is Chairwoman Jane Lichter. I call to order the Board of Education of Baltimore County's public hearing on the proposed FY 2025 capital budget. This evening's Board of Education meeting is being held virtually and broadcast through Microsoft Teams Live. The registration form for the public hearing was available to the public online and closed at 3 p.m. yesterday for anyone wishing to speak at this evening's hearing. Your name will be called in the order of registration. Each speaker will be given three minutes to speak on the proposed FY 2025 capital budget. This public hearing is not the forum to speak on other topics. I ask the speakers to observe the three minute limit and conclude remarks when time has expired and you hear the tone. The microphone will be muted at the end of your time and it could be muted if a speaker addresses a specific student or employee matter or is commenting on matters not related to the proposed FY 2025 capital budget. Our first speaker, I'm not sure if they're on, is Ms. Courtney Duvant available? I do not see her signed in. Okay, so we will go to our second speaker and if she signs in, we'll do her next. The next speaker is Ms. Amy Adams. Ms. Adams, are you on? Good evening, can you hear me? Yes, we can, good evening. Thank you. Um, good evening and thank you for the opportunity to provide input about the priorities for the FY25 capital budget. In a nutshell, we parents and taxpayers would like to see transparency. This term has become one of my least favorite terms over the last few years, but it still really is a priority that's lacking. Even our county executive stated last week in an interview that he would like to see more transparency in spending since the BCPS budget makes up more than half of the overall county budget. What we mean by transparency is communication about capital improvement projects that get funded behind the scenes without the public knowledge or opportunity to provide any input. We request that all capital projects come to the board for approval and public visibility. In recent history, BCPS, in recent BCPS history, the system has moved forward with smaller but significant projects without board approval and out of the public eye. The board should create a policy to establish oversight and approval, and the public should also be informed of all projects and plans. This type of transparency did exist in the past, so it's a reasonable expectation to return to this practice. We would like an update on the money designated for both Towson and Delaney High School projects beyond the planning and design phase. We would like the board to consider changing the student count process, which was discussed at the audit meeting yesterday and at a meeting regarding the extreme crowding issue at Hampton Elementary School. Relying solely on the September 13th, excuse me, September 30th student count is not serving the system well to proactively deal with the overcrowding and appropriate planning. We would like to see the school system and the Board of Education pressure the County Council to adopt the APFO task force recommendations that among other things would require builders, developers to pay their fair share towards new schools when developments and apartment complexes are built. The budget, both the operating and the capital, is oversight and it's one of the most important roles of an effective board member. We really hope that each of you will do your due diligence to fulfill that role and better serve the system. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Adams. Is Ms. Courtney Duvant on the line? No? Okay. Um, we only had two speakers signed up to speak tonight, and the second speaker does not appear to be here. So, the last item on the agenda is announcements and the board's next meeting will be held on Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. Thank you for joining us tonight and the public hearing is now adjourned. I had a gavel, bang. Bang. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night.